Hi, I just wanted to do a little update on my uh, GoPower 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter that I got, I think, in October of 2011, maybe a little earlier. And it was the fourth one that I had purchased. I had bought uh, one AC DC inverter from a place in Canada, I believe it was called uh, DC to AC Power.com, and it was just junk. I ended up fighting the company to get my money back. And then I bought uh, two brand new Ames 1500 watt pure cyan inverters from the inverter store. Both of them, no good, right out of the box. Sent the first one back, waited patiently for the second one. Second one came in, also no good. And also, like the place in Canada, had to file a complaint with my bank to get my money back. So, I got the documentation on that. So I ended up with what I originally wanted, which was this Go Power, which is actually, if you take the cover off, which I'm about to do, is a Kotec, or a Samlox, or Samlex, however it's said. So I'm going to take the cover off and show you the inside. This thing runs 24-7. I never shut it off. And uh, that's the cover. And I don't know if you can see it inside here, but it uh, it says right on it, Kotec. All the components are Kotec, and it's all covered in a uh, conformal coating, which allows this unit to be used on uh, any boat or, uh, you know, outside it's rated to be in the weather. You know, obviously inside of a building. And then over here, we have these little switches. You can actually change the voltage of this inverter from 110, 115, or 120, whatever you'd like. And as you can see, everything inside is uh, quite healthy. It's very well made, two big heat sinks. And it's on 24-7. This inverter called for a two-gauge wire. I've got a 200, or 200. It's about twice or three times as heavy as it calls for. And again, I'm going to shorten these legs up. I got this on a tripod. And of course, they won't shorten. They just fall when you don't want them to. Anyway, we'll try to deal with it. So, in here, they run off my 12-volt uh, battery bank. And those are uh, DECA DC 31DT deep cycle 12-volt batteries, 105 amp hours a piece. So that's 420 amp hours. And I see a lot of people running 24 volts and a lot of people buy 48 volt components. And I wonder if they really realized if they were going to use an inverter off a 48 volt bank, you don't have much capacity because uh, this 12 volt battery bank I could easily make it 24 volts, which would be two 12s in series, which would go from 420 amp hours down to 210 or half capacity. And if I hooked all four batteries in series, it would have 48 volts, but then it would be down to 105 amp hour capacity. So as the voltage goes up, your storage definitely goes down. And another reason I bought the 12 volt, I went with 12 volts, is um, with my uh, Outback inverter. I'm running, uh, well, I was running 24 volt uh, panels, 48 volt panels, and right now I've got it knocked down to four uh, 12 volt panels hooked up in series, and it's just enough to maintain the batteries. And I've turned everything over to the uh, end phase system to get the grid tie at my house. And then there's the old power wall where all the power jacks used to be. But anyway, I'm very happy with this unit. And uh, it's on 24-7, as I said. And it's extremely well made. I highly recommend getting one. I think I paid like $498 for this from Boat and RV Equipment. on. Uh, I found them on eBay. And it's been absolutely flawless. That's about 16 months. No issues at all. 
and this thing is on 24 7 and when it calls for power it'll it just wakes up so it's a really great deal and again everything inside is uh, marked Kotec on it and those two units Kotec and the Samlock or Samlex I forget what it's called they're very expensive and they're like six hundred dollars and it's the same unit so anyway I just thought I'd do that little update it's rare that you buy things nowadays that actually do what they say they're going to do. And uh, inside here you can see all the big heat sinks. Everything's tied up nicely into that big heat sink. And it's got the two big fans in the back. And, uh, you know, they'll come on when it needs to and they'll, you'll hear them whoop. They make a racket, and then they shut right off as soon as it cools it down, so it's a pretty good deal. Alright, that's it. That's my update on the GoPower.